pathwaysoflight.org. Welcome to the reading, A Course in Miracles Workbook Lesson 302, Insights. Where darkness was, I look upon the light. As it says elsewhere in the Course, God is love and nothing else. So the second paragraph could be read as love awaits us as we go to love. Love walks beside us, showing us the way. Love is the end we seek and love is the means by which we go to love. In this world, we cannot experience the love of God fully. Love is one and cannot be experienced while belief in separation is maintained. But there is a reflection of love in this world that is the means by which we can return to the full experience of the unity of God's love. This reflection of love is forgiveness. Forgiveness clears away the darkness so the light of love can shine upon our vision and show us the truth of our unity with all that is. Because of the countless forms of this world, it seems that forgiveness must be applied again and again. Circumstances that call for forgiveness seem to be different. But the need for forgiveness in every circumstance comes from one core mistaken idea. That idea is the demand that God gave us special favor, that he gave his love unequally. Gradually, as we practice forgiveness, we begin to see that all circumstances in which conflict and guilt seem to occur are the same. The light of love shows us that where we believed there was division, there is only unity and wholeness. Where we saw guilt, there is only innocence. Where we thought there was harm, there was harmlessness. Love walks beside us and shows us the way to the full recognition of our self of love. Forgiveness lets go of the barriers to that recognition. As we let go of the veils, the clarity of our love that we share with God comes fully into our awareness and we recognize God's world. We recognize heaven, the eternal, joyous giving and receiving of love. As I learn to attend the love that walks beside me, I will look only upon the light. The sentence that stands out to me in this lesson is, now we see that darkness is our own imagining and light is there for us to look upon. I see that I awaken as I recognize that the darkness I see out in the world is my own imagining. I awaken as I recognize that the light is there for me to look upon. I see that this is my daily opportunity. The world of separate bodies is a dream. A world of differences is a dream. This world is a projection that does not leave my mind. If I see darkness out in the world, it is a reflection of a belief in darkness that still resides in my mind. I have a choice. I can continue repeating projection from the past, or I can make the choice to recognize the light that is there for me to look upon. The choice I make depends on what I want to reinforce within myself. I am either holding the ego's hand or the Holy Spirit's hand with every thought. I would use this day as a practice to open my mind to the light that is eternally there to see 
if I am willing to see it. Today, I can reinforce the dream or practice letting it go, seeing it for the nothingness that it is. The truth is, God is. Love is. There is no other. Am I willing to recognize love today or will I try to make the darkness real? Today I am willing to practice opening to the truth that only love is real. Where darkness was, I look upon the light. Pathwaysoflight.org